Alrighty. So I'm going to do another one here today. This one, I believe this is an insect. Well, I know it's an insect, but I believe this is one of some type of red centipede that uh, my daughter. hard to cut the histology on this because the thing it's got this really apparently this chitin layer on the outside you can see one thing I want to kind of I believe we're over here this is the head around here and then this is um, kind of going toward down the body we were able to section maybe about a third of it I think it's pretty fascinating to look at but First thing I want to do is kind of look. This is, um, we actually didn't cut much into the legs. But right here, I think we've got a cross section of a leg. I think it looks pretty cool. You can see it's got these, these spikes. Right here, on the outer aspect of the leg. Um, which I don't think I could grossly or without a microscope. It's probably about 10 micrometers in size, but interesting you do see you can see here these these tissues here are skeletal muscle you can tell by the cross banding um, obviously these cells here are what produce I guess chitinous sort of spikes. I'm not sure what they do. Otherwise, I have no idea what this tissue here is, but it looks pretty cool. So let's kind of go back a little bit. Focus on the head. Looks to me like the head is like the spikes. Kind of on the front aspect as well, real sharp. I tell you, this thing, I'm assuming these things hurt you. I'm not really sure. I don't know. That's the whole point of this is I don't have any idea. It's kind of like I want to look at these under the microscope and then kind of go read about them later. You can see there's some skeletal muscle here in the head. There's a sort of chitin layer inside of the outer layer. In here, you can look at this real close. You can see it's got this sort of laminated structure, which is the chitin, and presumably this layer is maintained by these cells that line it. There's a good close-up though. A close up view of the cross banding of the skeletal muscle. Which I think is interesting that there's skeletal muscle inside the head. Also remember, I don't really know I'm in the head, but I think I'm in the head. Alright, let's see what I know about that. I think this is another sort of small section, cross section of a leg. I really wanted to get the legs in depth, but they were really hard to cut. I don't know how to use it, and I guess it's the better way to do it. Get the whole open thing. You see some of the spikes coming off of there. <sighs> I gotta say, my microscope setup is not ideal yet. I have to look at the screen, which is not the same as looking through the scope. So, anyway. Heading down the body of this thing, you can see the body of it is loaded with skeletal muscle. I mean, all this tissue in here is skeletal muscle, which tells me this is a very muscular animal. And I think that's kind of cool. And look at the cross banding on that. It's very, I mean, it's just packed with muscle. Going over here, we see a lot of these chitin layers. I'm not sure how deep we actually cut into them or histology, but I just can't believe these things are packed with muscle. It's almost like 
eating a piece of meat if you were able to eat these things. Kind of no one on really low power. You can see there's these sort of segments that have these structures on the outside up here, outside of the body. And you've got this muscle layer. So now down in here, you get this sort of weird tissue that's real got these cells with this real bubbly look. What we would call in pathology bubbly cytoplasm. Here's some glands, these sort of empty structures lined by these flat cells. Those are glands. Of course, I don't have any idea what they do. Over there. It's kind of heading this way, going away from the head. I think at some point on this one we run into ingested material within the gut. Yeah, no. Yeah, maybe that. I'm not sure. But we've got just a bunch of glands it's forming some kind of structure in here. I don't think it's a gut because those usually have a more different histology than what we're seeing here. But I think overall we got a decent cut part of this centipede, but not not perfect, not a perfect section. Yeah, it starts to kind of break apart here. It's all broken over here. Yeah, so I think the best details we got are around here, and then moving forward. So we're on high power. Yeah, this is interesting. I just it just really seems to me the most surprising thing for me. It just is a Ton of skeletal muscle. You can see the cross bands here up close. Pretty cool. It's very prominent, more prominent than in humans. I'm not sure what that means. But I don't see any smooth muscle. I just see skeletal muscle. Let's head back to the head. Yeah, this is the head right here. Best as I could tell, this tissue right here. I mean, I don't have any idea what the nervous system of these things are composed of, or whether they have brains in their head or not. It doesn't quite look. It does not look like human brain tissue. Interestingly, let me see another thing to note. I'm not seeing any evidence of a circulatory system or a peripheral vascular system. No. I think expert bug people will probably laugh at me and say, well, obviously these things don't have cardiovascular system, and that may be true, but I just don't know that. Um, I've never studied these things. I don't see any cross sections of blood vessels or anything. Around. Yeah, it's interesting. This uh, this cell layer underneath this chitin layer. I mean, it obviously has to be what maintains and produces this chitin. It's not producing these muscle cells because these nuclei are the muscle cell nuclei, and those usually don't divide. So these pigmented cells are maintaining this chitin layer. And I can see why this thing has a red hue to it. Because the chitin layer looks very red. It's also got this sort of yellow. Right on the outside, it's got this yellow outer layer. Red in here. 
That one's nice skeleton this one. It's not. Very interesting. Let's look at the leg one more time. It's a cross section of this leg. Look at those spikes. This is pretty cool. Alright. I think I'm gonna do the slugs next. 